Hi everyone, this is Richard. Let's talk about stream subscription. So in the previous video, we talked about streams, how an object just blindly sends out information, and we generally don't interact directly with the stream. Instead, we typically abstract it through a stream controller. But if you noticed in the previous video, we didn't do much with the stream controller in the sense that it doesn't actually manipulate the stream itself. Right? All it does is it more tells us information about the stream. So it tells us information and it adds streams. So you get the stream controller, add streams to it, and it tells us information about it. Is it on, is it off, is it paused, or whatever. Then we talked about the stream sync. And the stream sync is basically, a sync is like where you dump everything in. Okay, So if you dump some information, some data, which could, could again could be a future or a stream, and then you get information out, and you relay that information, you add that information, onto the stream controller. So if it's stream controller, then it's going to be a stream sync. If it's a future, then it's going to be a future sync, right? So we add the sync. We use the sync as an abstraction to add um, objects, um, streams to the stream controller. Then we have some of these other classes when it comes to streams. Part of Dart is, is because it's an object-oriented language, some classes are created behind the scenes without you even knowing about it, okay? And, and the reason why it does that is, is because, well, number one, it's object-oriented, and it allows you to actually create new objects, I guess. The, the, it, it's kind of like, so, um, how, how's the best way to describe it? Whenever you're going to get a class sync, for example, let's get down here and said SC. So SC, just as a reminder, is the stream controller. Stream controller dot sync, which is the method, and we add the stream. Add the stream through the stream sync into the stream controller. Whenever we invoke the sync method, we are automatically creating a stream consumer class. And many times you don't have to Explicit, so explicit means actually type it out, class stream consumer. You don't need to do that. The system creates it for yourself. Sync, I've not found a good reason why you have to actually create a sync class, so I'm not super familiar with it. I see some people do. I can't really figure out their code, unfortunately. The stream subscription is a little bit different. So if stream controller actually tells us information about it, Stream subscription can actually do things to the stream itself. Anytime you do a listen method, okay, we're down here, uh, on click dot listen, the system automatically creates, no matter where you are, a stream subscription. So it's off in the cloud somewhere, somewhere else, and it creates an object of stream subscription, but it's an abstract class. So you don't just automatically do stream subscription equals new stream subscription or something like that. You don't directly instantiate it in that fashion. We will talk about that in just a couple seconds here. So it's created any type, some type of listening is done. But a stream subscription, because you can actually do stuff to it, it can be helpful. So how do you actually create it? Remember, we just mentioned that whenever you do a class for a method for listen, it automatically gets created. So what you can do instead of implicit, Again, implicit means you do something and the system will do it for you. Explicit means you actually have to type it out. So this implicit is the stream um, subscription is somewhere out there, but it exists. We just don't have it available to manipulate. This we're actually saying SS stream subscription equals the SC, the stream controller with the listen method. Okay, so we're actually now creating a stream subscription. All right, so if we do that, this will still activate the stream.listen, right? It'll still work. Um, but now we have this extra SS to do something as we want. So we mentioned before in this video, in the previous video, we have this stream subscription, stream, excuse me, um, controller will add a stream onto it right inside here. But if we want to do something, what are our potential methods for the stream subscription dot? You can cancel it. You can pause it. Oh, that's pretty good. You can resume it. Once it's done, you can do something with it. You can um, on error. So, so there's a bunch of different things that you can actually do to it in and of itself. You can convert it to a future, I think it is. I'm not sure exactly what that is. We'll go over 
maybe we'll go over that. So we'll, we'll take a look at some of these things. So I'm going to go here. If the stream controller is paused, okay, because the stream controller tells you if it's information, right, about the stream. If it's paused, then go ahead and resume. Else, if it's not paused, then pause it. All right, so let's see what that actually does. Nothing, right? I hit on add one, which will add the stream, which A is, what is A? Ints, and down here, ints is basically just re um, shooting out every one second, shooting out an integer, just like that, okay? So if I hit what? Remove, it's gonna pause it, right? It should pause it. Remove, it's paused. So nothing else is added. What if I hit it again? It should resume, right? And it resumes. So what it does is it pauses the stream. Remember, you're not handling the stream. You're handling the stream subscription, which is going through the stream consumer, which is, go, which is controlling the stream, all right? Several abstraction layers, but it simplifies it and makes it nice and easy because now you're knowing what you're going to do with each separate class, with each separate object involved, okay? So can you do some other stuff with it? Yeah, sure you can. You can do ss dot stream subscription dot. You can cancel it. Um, let's do that. So if you run it, it'll actually cancel the stream. So nothing, add this, and you hit submit, and it'll cancel it. What if you hit this add again? Doesn't do anything, right? Let's hit it again, hit this. It doesn't do anything because you canceled it. Okay, you canceled the stream. You can't uncancel. It's not like Amazon or something. You can't uncancel something in and of itself. You basically, once you cancel it, you're done. So unless you, unless it's an emergency, you, you're supposed to use like resume, pause, and stuff like that. I don't think, there's not a lot more methods other than that. Maybe there will be more in the future, but that's the idea. And I think the syntax in my mind has always been difficult. So again, one last time. Stream is what object. Stream controller tells us information and adds it. Stream sync adds information to the controller. Stream consumer is the, we many times don't use it, adds to the stream sync, and the stream subscription is created when we listen. It's the listening object in and of itself. Now, if you don't listen, why would you have a stream subscription? If you don't have anything that's listening, you can't do anything for the object in and of itself, right? So we have to keep that in mind. Let's keep going through stream transformer. I can't figure that one out, but let's let's maybe in the next video or two I'll I'll, I'll figure it out by then. Okay, thanks a lot.